again, welcome to your 10 minute tone. This session is focusing on legs and glutes. This is a great session to do if you're a runner, because I'm gonna focus on all those areas that we need to target through our legs and glutes to help us with a great running form and help prevent injury. Now, you can do all the exercises without any equipment at all. You can just use your body weight. I'm gonna add a kettlebell, some hand weights, and also a resistance band. I'm gonna be using one of these circular bands, but if you have a long band, you can tie it up at a resistance that works well for you and use that. We're gonna be starting standing. We're gonna do five exercises and we're gonna do each for two minutes. We will be coming onto the floor for the last two exercises, so grab yourself a mat. For our first exercise, we're starting standing with the band around our legs if you're using one. We're gonna take the weight into our hands and hold it close to the chest, keeping a nice open collarbone. We're gonna lift the crown of the head so we're tall through the spine, gentle connection in the lower abdominals. The feet are gonna go out wider than the hips, feet facing forwards. Make sure the knees don't roll in, particularly if you've got that pressure of the band. Keep them out and over the feet. We're gonna come down into a squat, knees coming out of the feet, press into the heels, squeeze the bottom and come up, and then lift the leg out to the side. We come down, press into the heels, and then the other leg lifts. Making sure on the supporting side, we have hip, knee, and ankle in alignment. We've got two minutes here, starting now. Come down, press into the heels, lift the leg. Keep that gentle connection through the core, so we keep nice and lifted through the chest. We're not allowing the weight to pull us forward. We're not punching through the spine. Weight in the heels, press into the heels, come up. Down, press into the heels, and up. Down, press the heels, squeeze the bottom, and come up. So from the side, remember, we're nice and tall through the spine. Don't start to fall forwards. And then lift. Watch out for those knees, particularly as you get tired. Keep them pressing out over the feet. Don't let them start to roll in. We're halfway there. Down, pressing up. Keep that gentle connection with our abdominals. Weight back in the heels. Again, just check those knees are coming out still. Press into the heels and up. Squeeze the bottom as you come up. Nearly there. Remember, nice and stable through the supporting side. Hit me and ankle in alignment. Got 15 seconds. Keep the weight back in those heels, knees coming out. There are things that start to go as you get tired. We've got the last one. And up. From there, if you're using the band, we're going to bring it down and bring it to the balls of our feet. We're going to keep the weight in our hands. And we're going to take the feet out so there's some tension in the band that we want to maintain. We're going to bend into the knees, keeping the knees out over the feet. We want to keep the feet facing forwards. Don't let them start to turn out. And we're going to do crab walks. So keep that connection in the lower abdominals, keep low in the knees. We've got two minutes here. Step. Make sure you don't bring the feet too close together. You want to keep the tension in the band. You want to keep the knees out over the feet. So from the side, low into the knees, core connected, spine nice and tall. Try and take the same number of steps one way, and then the same back, depending on how much space you've got. Good, keep low on those knees. As you start to get tired, you'll start to lift up, so just bend through the knees, keep that gentle core connection, keep that tension in the band. If you're working without a band, just keep the feet no closer than hip distance. 
Keep that weight up. Try not to start to sink in the chest. Toes are tucked. We're going to do two up, 
And then we bend the knee and two up to the ceiling there. Two up and then two up. We're going to start with the right leg and do one minute on each side. So when you're ready, gentle connection in the lower abdominals. Extend the leg behind you, pull the toes back towards you. We're going up for two, bend the knee and then up for two. Lengthen the leg, two, bend the knee for two. Really try and squeeze that working buttock. Like I said, if you want the core work to be a bit more challenging, you're going to take the opposite arm away and stay really still through your centre. So we don't want the back arching as you move. We don't want any shifting of the weight side to side. It's like you've got an imaginary tray of drinks balanced on your back and you don't want to spill a drop. We're halfway there. Say, squeeze that working buttock. Shoulders down away from the ears, don't let them hunch. We've got the last few, and then we switch sides. Last set from here. So long leg, short leg. Come in with that leg, let's switch sides. So shoulders down, lengthen the spine. Make sure we're still in neutral and that those lower abdominals are engaged. Slide the left leg out and pull the toes back towards you. Up for two, bend the knee in and up for two. Try and keep up level with the hip, with that leg. We've got a minute starting now. Remember, head in line with the spine, don't let it start to drop. Check the shoulders aren't starting to hunch. And if you want to make that stability through the pelvis a little bit more challenging, you take the opposite arm away. Still imagining that tray of drinks balanced on your back. Try not to spill anything. Remember, toes pull back towards you. You're squeezing that working buttock. Last two, last ones, bringing it in underneath you, from there sitting back and we're coming all the way to the mat. Now I've chosen to use hand weights here, but you can use whatever weights you like or work without them. We're going to come down to the floor. The weights are going to go in my hands but over my hip bones, feet to hip distance apart. Shoulders are down away from the ears, and we're nice and neutral through the lower back. So we make sure we have a little arch in the lower back. We're not pushing it into the mat. We're not arching it away. From there, gentle connection in the lower abdominals. We've got two minutes with this exercise. We want to make sure that the whole time that we do this, our hips and ribs stay the same distance apart. So that way we make sure we're not using our lower back to drive the movement, that we're using our glutes instead. So we're gonna squeeze our bottom, Send the hips up to the ceiling. We're going to keep the left leg really still and we're going to drop the right knee out to the right for five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it back, then we tap the bottom on the floor. Hips go straight back up, making sure that we don't flare the rib cage, that we're driving with the bottom, and then we do the same on the other side. Now, because we want to work on our pelvic stability at the same time, we need to make sure that our hip bones stay level the whole time we do this. So when you're ready, we've got two minutes of this exercise. Squeeze the bottom, send the hips up. Right knee stays still, left knee opens for five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to hip distance, tap the bottom, squeeze back up again, and we do the right leg for five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to hip distance, tap the bottom, squeeze it straight back up. Remember, make sure you don't start to flare your ribs. Make sure that hip bones are level the whole time and that you're not dropping the bottom as you work. Keep it nice and high by squeezing into those glutes. We're nearly halfway. 
And remember, work on that pelvic stability at the same time. Hip bones level, squeeze back up. Halfway. Tap down, squeeze the bottom straight back up. Other knee needs to stay really still. Tap, squeezing up. Remember your hip distance with the knees when you're coming up and down towards the floor. We've got 30 seconds left. As you get tired, be more conscious of your technique. That's when your body will start to try and cheat. So you may start to feel your lower back arching to try and keep your hips up. Don't let that happen, really squeeze the bottom. Ditch the weights across the hips if you need to, to keep the technique. You don't want this work overloading your lower back. Last set, coming up. So we're nice and even, we're finishing on the right. Come back, drop down, put the weights beside you and hug the knees in. Now that's quite a lot of work for your glutes, so make sure you do a nice little glute stretch here. There's a 10 minute stretch for your glutes and hips, which I'll post at the bottom of this video for you to try.